Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. <laughs> they don't have their name on the door. You want to know where you are? Yeah, I can say your name should be on the door. Yeah. That's how you know where you are. Your name is. Thank you, sir. Well, my uncle had an excuse to This is more proof. If there were no women, there would be no small manufacturing. <laughs> production department. Those of you who have seen it before, seen pictures, know that this is all hand work. So we have a number of very skilled ladies sitting around, very good at doing the job they've been doing for many years, some of them, many of them. So we will go around and have a look at specifically what they are producing at the moment and uh, have a look. So I think we start out right away here. So she is our SPU expert. So um, I don't know how many SPUs you have been producing over the years. It would be many. Yeah. So, so we can order from her a special <laughs> directly. Yeah, 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 almost. Yeah, special yeah. Special done with love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is in fact the new. SPU century in pre-production. Mm -hmm. So if you start out with the microscope over here, you can take turns and have a look in the microscope. Then you can see how it looks with the cantilever and the armature and how it's wound with the coil wire. So the suspension, the, the size, the components, together with the pressure gives you the total compliance. Uh -huh. So it's not only the rubber itself, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's also yeah, the... the, the, sure. the yeah, yeah. You don't always need to, to, to develop a new magnetic system from scratch. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of really good ones, and, and this one was really good for this purpose. So we adjusted it to have the right sound. Yeah. There's, there's a part of the SPU. But, but it's important with the SPU to remember that the housing, the properties of the housing, also is important for the SPU sound. So, 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 uh, sure. it, so yeah. big resonance yeah. factor. Yeah. So if you listen to a naked SPU unit, the sound will be different from if it's mounted in the sure. housing. So and the armature has been uh, wound before this, but, but this is just assembling different parts. So. 
and you can see we have sort of we have fixtures, dedicated fixtures to the different processes to control the position of the parts. So this is uh, what I told you about. This is really hand sewn under the microscope because we need the coil wire to be layered perfectly. There's really controlled manually how they are layered. And then the wire is secured by some lacquer and marked with the right color for which terminal it should be connected to. So, if you look, you can see the, the stylus and, and, and the, at the end of the cancer needle. This is the the stylus. This is one we use. Yeah. So, uh, but it, we have some gluing processes, and this is one of the first processes, so it has to be done. Yeah. Do we all start out with the same basic building block yes. in that piece? Yes. 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 And what is it? Is that a plastic? Is that yes. Okay? Where we will have the cantilever mounted on the armature. So, so this is the armature with a small tube sticking up, which has been riveted to the armature. So, so this is of course iron armature, and you have a rivet made out of aluminum. And now we will put the cantilever on. And where does that get done? Where that rivet gets put in there? Yeah, here. Good. So it's a little bit of glue. And then, so, we'll have it. and then you can see on the other screen over here, we'll see how to align it. So of course, the stylus need to be aligned with respect to the cross armature. Yeah. Det er den til uh, kvintet. Ja. Ja, ja. 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 Okay. So that's quite critical, no? Ja. Yeah. Yeah. To get the stylus yeah. correct inside. Ja, yeah. ja. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. In the microscope, but then you look down and see how yeah. big it really is. <laughs> it's teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Yeah, it's not so big. Wow. So the, the stylus, when comes the stylus on, the cantilever? When? Yeah. What do you mean? It, it depends. This is already with a uh, cantilever with stylus. Yes, 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 yes. So, 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 so all of the, all of our nude diamonds, mm -hmm. we have the assembly for Ligen. We have the assembly of all our nude diamonds and cantilevers at our supplier. Ah, yeah. yeah. But all our bonded diamonds, mm -hmm. we make the assembly ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Why, why? Because the new diamond is difficult to yes. fit? Yes, 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 yes. To glue it inside? Hmm? Yeah, to, to, to make the punching the hole. That hole, the, the, new, the, the cross section of the new diamonds are smaller. And sometimes it's not square, sometimes it's rectangular. And so it's much more complicated to, to, make to, to mount that, to make the hole and mount that. But it's, it's glued or it's sti sticked inside? Both. So Both. It's, it's sticked inside, so that is basically, that's the main thing, because then you have the best contact between the diamond and the cantilever. And then always a drop of glue for securing. Yeah. So the glue will never be the main, main thing. thing. No, no, the main thing is really that it's pressed through the aluminium. Yeah. 
So, and when the diamond uh, is going off, going out from the hole, so it happens sometimes. Yeah. So, so that's just the happens. glue goes off. And uh, yeah, yeah, that happens. So, so maybe the hole has not been good enough, or whatever. Yeah. Because there's never. No, you no, always no. have a few. Uh, sure. yeah. And the ones where you use, you bond it with a glue. That's why you say don't use a liquid stylus glue. Yeah, but, but the the, yes, it, so they're not really bonded with the glue, but they are secured with the glue. Right. So, and of course, never use anything with alcohol. No, or, no, no. Right. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend. But no, but, 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 all, but also you go also the, the, the coil wire would not be happy about it. You saw also you had a gluing between the the the, 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 the tube. And, right. and, and the cantilever, mm -hmm. and you have a rubber further up in the system. So, so, so no organic solutions. No, 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 no. no. Mechanical cleaning yeah. only. Yeah. I agree. And that is enough. You and never when, need. And any. when you when you want to have uh, you know a uh, relaxing time, yeah, yeah, then you take your finger and oh, put sure. your stuff on it. On a, yeah, on, yeah. A, on a century 100, yeah. <laughs> Sand, you sandpaper, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Engineers, our rubber specialists, Thomas, and uh, he will tell you a little about about what goes on in here. <laughs> yes. Hello. 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 Okay. Here you can see the rubber department when we are uh, making uh, rubbers, starting from mixing rubber, yeah, from raw ingredients till final product, yeah, uh, which is uh, made of on on presses. Okay, starting from uh, raw materials, yes. Typical rubber is made of uh, raw rubber, which looks something like this. It's, you can take around, it's quite nice, Cheese. soft, <laughs> yeah. Cheese? Cheese! <laughs> Material. Whose mattress did you steal that from? Uh, you can taste if you want. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, uh, different. I call it uh, banana like, because for ah. me it looks like a dry, dried banana. I really like this rubber. <laughs> this, yeah, and r rubber uh, mainly came as a blocks, yeah, as the first one. And also other ingredients in rubber mixture are uh, oils, uh, some powders, uh, fillers like carbon black, and all of this uh, play important uh, role in in the final uh, material. And uh, we are mixing rubber on uh, roll mixer like this one. And when you got the, to prepare all of the ingredients, uh, you mix it according to uh, procedure. Yes, there is some instruction. We are mixing around five, eight uh, main uh, rubbers. In total, we have around 30. But but the the, the, the main uh, rubbers is around yeah, five, five five to eight. And there is yeah uh, mixing uh, speed, temperature on the rolls, and time. Yeah. And also this process is very important because it is not an automatic process. It's, I would call it semi-automatic. Semi and uh, there's a big impact from the operator yeah? uh, to have uh, experience in uh, mixing rubber because it is important how you uh, add ingredients, how you uh, cut the rubber with the knife. Everything is important. Here. And afterwards, you have uh, something like this. Yeah? Uh, a rubber which is ready ready to, to, to be vulcanized. So if you mix this, you have this, yeah. And, and, and so as Tomas says, this is ready to be vulcanized. And so, so it does not have the right properties. Me yet. Especially mechanical. Chemical is, but from mechanical properties, it's, it's very soft. It's, yeah, it yeah. doesn't work as it should, yeah. So all those bondings inside, they are not activated yet. Yeah, and uh, we're vulcanizing rubber in, in a mold like this, I would say with a, a very nice size yeah, to operate by, by operators. And uh, we're putting, we're cut rubber to a stripe, yeah, and it depends on, on the product mold size, yeah, but we, we place rubber, like uh, I can show all of you, yeah. So it's it, this type of mold is called uh, compression mold. It is and pressure, yeah, three important uh, parameters. And afterwards, when you open it, you have something like this, yeah, a rubber product 
with some uh, overmolded uh, material, which, which is typical for th that kind of uh, technology. So you have to clean it carefully. It, it, it's um, quite manual work, yeah, for cleaning, because every part needs to be investigated under microscope, yeah. We really like microscope for our products. It's, <laughs> it's something that, yeah, uh, every operator got a microscope. And the waste is what you can't use it again because it's already been... Exactly, because this is... Uh, uh, yeah, good question because it's thermoset, yes? It, it is not plastic because plastic you can remold, you can heat it up and it, it, it's flowing. And this is a yeah, thermoset, yeah? So, those become it's cheap, a, it's cheap it's tires, is what happens with those? They become cheap tires? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a waste. Yeah. <laughs> But how much pressure and how much temperature do we typically use? Yeah, typically it's uh, two, two, three hundred bars because our molds are not so big and temperature is up to two hundred. Yeah. From one hundred seventy degree to two hundred degree, and time is ab around three minutes. <laughs> so it will be a flat chicken. Yes, <laughs> splash they call that. Splash it or something. Okay. And this, this is. Final product, yeah. It looks from this rubber, from this, this you can yeah, what is take it for? around, yeah. So what you give out at Halloween? Yeah, to, and to uh, yeah, uh, because we are making products for ourselves and for for the customers. Yes, mm -hmm. this is for a customer, and uh, this is uh, our customers are dealing mainly in the medical industry. It looks like, yeah. So, so that is important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> the medical stuff and people die for it. I don't really care. Yeah. This is what I care about. <laughs> yeah. So you can yeah. see we make many at one time. How, how many cavities are there, Thomas? Sorry. Here around uh, eighty. It might be. Uh, up to 200 uh, cavities. Yes. Yeah. And these are the suspensions that the that the stylus ends up the cart these cantilever ends up going through. So, yeah. So, 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 so these are for 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 the moving magnet. Yeah. In the recipe, yeah, how we compound it, it mm, influences the final product properties. Yes. That's true. We are dealing rather with small stuff. Yeah. I would say microscope. <laughs> and what is that used for? This is for our customer. This is for medical industry. Mm, there is for some blood checking equipment, yeah. and they are connecting pipes, and blood is flowing inside those channels. So there are cavities inside. So, uh, Bronx team, please follow Kim Kim Peterson is our cartridge expert and he has been in the company for more than 100 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 29 only. only. Only 29, okay. And then he is crucial for the development of new cartridges. So, so any new prototypes being developed? I have before I have a question. No. Before I forget, yeah, because Günther is just pushing me. Yeah, where are my rubbers? Yeah. Your rubbers? Yeah. What do you need, for rubbers? Yeah, because uh, I stopped at the moment the production because you didn't deliver my rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> because I have I all don't, the rubbers are also done by myself. Yeah. Yeah, to talk to the guy <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> because we're using for the counterweight no? and for the temper for the kit we use most of the water. Okay. Yeah. 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 Martin will sorry, be able sorry, to answer. Sorry, sorry, I had to look into that. Yeah, okay, but anyhow, it, he's really a, a bit, my, my crucial right hand in developing new cartridge. He makes sure that maybe some crazy ideas becomes real. He makes sure that the prototypes are made and he's listening just as much as I do to the new cartridges. But, but Kim will tell you a lot about the production of our moving magnet cartridges. Mm -hmm. So the section we are standing in right now is, is making the stylus. This all starts with uh, your manufacturing um, the cap slippers and some down there by the window. Uh, it's bended and we we'll punch a hole inside of it. After that, the uh, long lady you're seeing here is taking the diamond, put it on top of the fixture and presses the cancel lever on, on top of it. After that, it's screwed on the back side. Uh, all that is something that is, the new machine is going to do, as you saw Minor uh, illustrate earlier today. Uh, the new machine is also taking the diamond, orientate it and place it correctly in, in the fixture. After that, the machine is also taking uh, the cancel lever, bending it, punch a hole in it, 
and, and press it on top of the diamond precisely as we do today. Uh, the next step that we're doing is actually to make the other end to make a trumpet and put a magnet inside of, of the cantilevers and put a, a, a rubbering uh, suspension on, on top of the, the trumpet. Uh, after that, the complete uh, cantilevers are taken and orientated and put inside of the plastic part. Then you have a complete uh, starter actually after that. That's also done by the new machine. So basically what the new machine does is take the diamond, place it as we does, put it on the top of the cantilevers and mount everything precisely as we do today. The new machine is going to be placed here. It's approximately uh, four meters long, one and a half meters wide, 220 high. So it fits right here on this section. And it's going to produce uh, not all, but the main part of our uh, phyloses. There will still be some special phyloses as uh, the, the mono and uh, maybe some of the bottles that are not sold in that many numbers that we are going to produce the old fashioned way, so to speak. Um, but feel free to go around and look what they are doing, uh, the operators. And in a few minutes, we're going to gather again by the table over there to look at the, 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 the plant part. This is the basic material that makes it huge, in fact. Oh, I see. I see. So there's a bare style. There's, there's a bare style. Then, then the trunk is... The rubber trunk is going around it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the suspension. And it's the opening. And then... That was finished. Only the beginning. the plastic part. That's why we put in the wire 
is a cycle time and you can see uh, what is uh, 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 limits upper and lower limits uh, these are differences between uh, the same for uh, 
injection time, uh, clamping force, um, uh, size of the cushion, uh, injection, change of injection uh, pre pressure, and uh, the last is um, uh, actually uh, uh, last is the injection pressure change. But as you can see, it is a really small size of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, the limit is uh, very wide. Uh, it's narrow, actually. That's why we can observe differences. It is a couple of bars differences in, uh, uh, in production. Um, uh, probably you know uh, the, the plasticizing from the unit, which is uh, with this machine, is pretty small. It is just a 12 cubic centimeter, uh, which means that we uh, supply uh, cavities uh, with the fresh material all the time. Uh, and this application, this, this machine would be very good for um, the production of uh, components which must be resist um, uh, from UV light, from sunlight, from uh, sun beams, uh, or flammability, resistance of uh, flammability. Um, uh, usually those materials uh, need to be, uh, it need to be less than 10 minutes um, uh, stored in uh, heat in, in, in the barrels. So uh, in this case, uh, we keep them only uh, like a two or three minutes. So it is pretty fast production at the same time. Uh, so it is very safe. So it's picking up the material there. What is, what's happening right there? So this, 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 this thing comes down. And uh, it's taking a picture. It's next picture. And I will show it to you too. Let me show right. you. Yeah, so and then it goes in there. Eh? Yes, and goes and this is that the position. So that's, that's where it goes. That's yes. where it. Okay. And so the material comes out of there. Yeah. Okay. I had it backwards, but that's not, that's understandable. Okay. Uh, examples. Uh, Yeah. 3D printing, but I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really see what's going on. Okay. Or is this blurry? Uh, 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 machine, um, CNC, that is computer numerical control. You have tools sitting around here, different tools, because the machine knows where the different tools are. Uh, this is born as a free access machine, three degrees of freedom. Then we have added this one down here, so this one can rotate. This means that we have four degrees of freedom. So this is now a four access machine. If you go higher up in price, you can get five access machine that is even better at doing a lot of stuff. But this is really good for us at the moment. So after this uh, very short introduction, we will try to, to load the machine and produce some parts. On the table over there, we can see some finished parts. We can talk about them afterwards. But uh, Darko, our operator and the really expert on this, the CNC machine, he will load the machine. And uh, as you can see, there are some wooden, one wooden block yeah. in this it's, uh, one. It's actually new parts. So yes. It's kind of so there are room for how many? Uh, we can run seven. We're going to run only one for yeah. you guys. So we can put seven parts in, and if we run production, now we put one in. And this is for the bottom part of the SPU century. So, Darko, I'll move away so there are room for some more people. Where is this machine manufactured, the, the machine itself? Uh, Germany. Germany. Yeah. So, if you want to see how we make it... Why am I not surprised it's from That's Germany? That's a German-Japanese uh, yeah. company. Oh. The axis. Just <laughs>
try that by hand. Show me that piece at, see, at um, in Munich. You show me that finished piece, and it's like, okay, that's cool. But you never don't really understand what goes into making it until you see this. Happen. Now you see it. It's crazy. <laughs>
Second part is like we were missing pieces right, because right. it's still both. Sometimes it will go wrong, yeah. but uh, you, you can see like surface, machining surface. Yeah, yeah. If you touch it, the raw machine surface. It's, 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 it's pretty this nice. Is amazing. You know, it's very nice. Yeah. It's still gonna be polished and like you know. Yeah, yeah. But this is yeah. really, nice. it's really good. And yeah. each one comes out that good because yeah, yeah. each one. Unless the, the wood has a defect. Well, yeah. then it's uh, of course thrown away in a break. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. Made him, I, I can lose it if something gets in here yeah. because it's just gold. The parts that we would like to show you. Of course, there are some of these wooden parts, but there's also what I talked about aluminum parts, aluminum housing, not finished uh, raw prototypes. But this is also some of the stuff we can do.